Like, woo, I yeah. am the shit. Mm -hmm. But then I'm like, damn, you are so unmotivated and whack. You know, you don't even know what you're doing. You need to learn Around some more. This. I don't think you need no classes. I mean, mm -hmm. your class is life. Your class is to keep on painting. Thank you. How you doing? How you doing? Nice to see you. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey. Come on in. So it feels good. Yeah. Good. Look at that picture, man. I know. I'm checking it out. I tell someone their work doesn't look finished. I heard you on the phone. Because it didn't look finished from my face. You don't do that. That's that's like saying your work is not complete. You know, Why am I lying? I told you it ain't look finished. Because it looked. She didn't like that. Yeah, see, it's resting up. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, look at the little piece she working on with the UFO. Twin Towers. That's New York. This is Rachel Grace. And, and we're in California right now, sunny California. Rich is an artist, and uh, I guess give me a little background on yourself, Rich. Like, what started you in the art? When I was probably like 15 or something. Mm -hmm. No, 16, and I became a young, pregnant teenage mother. Uh -huh. <laughs> One of my friend's uh, mothers felt real sorry for me. And she saw me sketching and doing some stuff, so she was like, this is what you need to do, you know, you're an artist. And she started buying me supplies, I think like foil pastels and all this stuff. So, so when you were younger, like, even before then, were you like doodling, doing the comic book thing? Out of, like, um, how did you know this was something? I was sketching, I was always in an art class, but I was also doing photography. Mm -hmm. I was, um, you know, actor and actress. Got it. LA, of course. <laughs> you know, but I think when I really, really started doing it like really it was probably like my early teens because I could you know mm -hmm. and I don't think until later and I felt like okay I can do this maybe mm -hmm. you know I'm still kind of skeptical <laughs> and did you go to any schools or anything for training um just a couple of classes at Otis Parson in beautiful uh you know LA downtown LA area like we have a junior college out here in the Valley Pierce junior college couple of you know you some training drawing there. courses mm -hmm. that's about it so what inspires you or like um, do your images or imagery come from your head or? Most of them do. I don't mm -hmm. no, so. particular. This doesn't really have a name. You know, I guess I call her the alien mermaid. I don't know. Um, a lot of women like that one. Mm -hmm. They always say they're going to buy it, but they never do. And why don't they buy it? Because I think um, I'm frightened. I don't think my price is steep, but maybe it's just a little too small. Your, your price? Oh, just like maybe two, three hundred dollars. No, what? no, you you giving it away. You giving it away. Well, they still won't even buy it. Oh, that's. Sad. But you know what you need to do? <laughs> hey, since they won't buy for two or three hundred, sell it for a thousand. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then they no, come down. No, 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 because then that intrigues yeah. him. Damn, a thousand. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if they won't buy it anyway, you might as well jack it up. Yeah. As a matter of fact, put eleven hundred on. We'll okay. do that right now. <laughs> then that way they haggle. You can get nine hundred out of it. Oh, yeah, you guys being nah, you know no, we're telling the truth. Tell the truth. Um, what motivates me? Mm -hmm. Usually it's a, 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 a certain amount of stress mm -hmm. and tension, sometimes mm -hmm. a little depression. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, sometimes my house has to be real clean. Well, that's how it used to be when I was uh, more, I was used to like, you know, be more active with my painting. Um, I'd have to have my house clean, yeah, a little mm -hmm. glass or something. So what artists, other artists do you like? I mean, the, the basics, yeah. I love Frida Kahlo, you know, mm -hmm. that's probably been my most recent inspiration. So your stuff, I think from what I've seen so far, you have a real organic feel to your work. Yeah, you know? so yeah. what it's called. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like circles and overtures, that kind of thing. Yeah, Not too many geometric shapes. Oh, what it is too is, um, <laughs> it's difficult because people, they probably categorize you as a hairstylist. Yeah. So they may think that, okay, art is her hobby instead of your passion. Oh, I have another but thing. But you can have more than one well, passion. Well, plus, I don't want to, I'd rather keep it. So, you know. yeah. That's why you want to sell it for a lot. Yeah. You want to part with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, don't pay for part it. with it for no chunk change. Part with it, they got to pay. Yeah. This is close to my heart. They're not buying People ask you about the price. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I wouldn't even mention it. You know? No, you tell them to get you a price. What do you think it's worth? Uh, I used to do that. God, you're going the wrong way. When you don't mention money, that means the shit will be expensive. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I mean? We're not even gonna discuss money, but if you really wanna talk about it, it's $1,500. Quite a few places. Um, that you recommend? Have you been in? Yes, of course. There's uh, one that's an old school spot that like, uh, I used to go to ever since I was 12 years old, Castle Vega. It's really very uh, Hollywood. And what makes it very Hollywood? I don't know. It just seemed like every time I watch like MTV, oh, and there? there's somebody in Castle Vega eating, uh, eating some food. Um, but then there's another place called Senor Friends. It's down at Senor Friends. Where's going, Rachel? Went to my house. You have a cat? Some type of squat. No, I used well, to have a cat. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love this right here. What what gave you the uh, your know, alright, let me I couldn't move. It was almost like it held me still with no and some of his really? little hands and it was chasing me. Like chasing me out. They have a thing for that. It's called poltergeist. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not it's not it's not it's not I swear to God, and I swear to God, and I thought I was crazy, and then one of my friends said she went to some yoga class where you meditate a lot. Mm -hmm. She said in the meditation, all of a sudden she saw this golden eye looking at her. It was like one eye and it was staring at her, like just checking her out. And it would move a little bit. The climber, man. That's, that, that's self explanatory. And it has that insect feel. Look at the rhythm of the yeah, exact arms and the, and the legs. I like that shit. Is this you here, the uh, lavender, like the pastel no, color? I was trying to do some stuff for the salons. That's Paris good. Man, that's like, I got another one that kind of matches it. Man, that's with What's the name of it? Or you it's just like you just that one, just okay. different little hair women with different looks. You know. Something. But it's like a, a, a ochre. It's like a wash you did and then you went over it. I think it's just brown and gold with a white over it. That's all. Brown and gold, I think. I saw my name twice, you know. I'm smoking weed, you know. <laughs> so good. What did I did for this one. Are you here? No, I just started painting. That's what happened. I was gonna paint it Jesus walking across the water, but then somebody's like, "You better not!" Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then do the Jesus thing you always want to do. What's the name of this? Um, Adam and Eve. I'm gonna let you see my Adam and Eve. I got one too. Soon she bit the fruit, she had weapons and gold and jewelry. <laughs> and um, he was soon to follow. Yeah, that's my that is cute as hell. That's an old one. Fish, That's a old one. fish. fish and in a 40. 40. All the oh, and the fish is high. Yeah, Drunk. The fish is lit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> old one. She got her own style. style. Don't change. She's tight. Some of the stuff that is like reject to me. Oh my god. No, that's all right. She was naked, and then you know what? People were like, like she those little fairies naked. I have in my room every once in a while. I get like a little Christian. Let, oh, like, yeah, yeah, let people, for real. Don't let people change. No, I'm not changing nah. that one. This one was, uh, I don't think so. It's oil. It might be acrylic back here. I never see water no. like check that. Check it, check it, check it. Abstract wise. With just the background. This water. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Whatever. Right? I don't know if you can remember what you did. That is tight. The way you got that rhythmic, like the way you captured the water. Yeah, the if water. You did a is whole moving. piece just like that. Abstract. Abstract. Oh, yeah. Compliments. <laughs> Old girl in there on the wall. Yeah. No, not the one. The The red and the orange. Gotcha. You see? Yeah, complimentary. Yeah, complimentary colors, right? Or she can mix yeah, that in there. That's like a Frida Kahlo, yes. you know, the Frida, Frida, but, um, yes. yeah, I like that, that I like bad. that. But Misha was falling asleep. <laughs> this piece, and it's, I probably did it in like an hour, two hours real quick. It was like nine months before the September 11th thing happened. And I remember when I brought it to work, Crystal was like, what's up with the UFO over, you mm -hmm. know, New York, and I was like, I don't know, you know, I think because I was watching Independence Day too many times, I don't know. I was like, well, if the aliens come, they'll come blow up New York. And then I remember like the day after September 11th, I came to work, and I totally forgot I even had this painting, you know, up here. It was used to hang right up here. And I sat down in a chair and I looked up, and I was like, whoa. And that was almost the angle when you look at the way that they had the mm -hmm. airplanes flying into the, um, mm -hmm. And I told myself, oh, I'm gonna go over and put more detail and add things, but it just never happened. And I can't believe the name, Sprites. Mm -hmm. so one of my clients said, oh, little Sprites. Right? Little Ebony, Ebony Sprites. Ebony Sprites. <laughs> <laughs> you get the right person. I have one, some cat come in here. You know, fat producer dude, and he was like, 
you know, trying to, they try to front. They try to front, that's all they doing. You know, they, and he's they like, know he you probably know could have, you know, bought it, but I was front. like. He's just trying to, he's oh. trying to pick you up, first of all. Yeah. And I know he's trying to pick you up. He was. And he's trying to show you, look, I got money, and I might do it. Did he ask you out to dinner? Did he say discuss it over dinner? No, he went like, well, yeah, he did. I know But I had to let him know, oh, I know your wife. See? Oh, bingo. And he was like, oh, 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 you think you, oh, oh, you think you caught me or something? You think you That's what he said. Yeah, I was like, no, I'm just telling you, I met your wife, she's beautiful. <laughs> Why are you trying to? Yeah, and then he, yeah. but he still didn't stop. He's, he's like, like, oh, he's going to take the knife out of my heart now? <laughs> no, no. He said, what if he was? This is why I can't be next. He's like, so, you know, oh, you telling me if, if I paid you to, like, paint me naked or something? Oh, God. You would do it? I, I was like, no I have too. never heard a man say that. Yeah, like, that's what I just said. Yeah. He's probably the man come at her like that. That's nasty. Like, yeah. well, that's, that's. She was tripping. You want to be inspired? Get around other art or artists, and mm -hmm. you'll get charged up. Yeah, the only way I do that is I go to borders and look at a little art magazine. No, you got to go But no, it's good inspiration there, too. You want to get but um yeah, because the first time we were out here, we went to San Francisco. Remember that gallery we went to um on the wall, Fisherman's Wall? What was it Pier Fifty Four? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Man, we saw that stuff, and you just sit, and what it does, it makes you sit there yeah. and look at it and say, visit other galleries and see how the artist works. It'll, it'll get you. And Bobby, <laughs> Russell and I were talking about that. It can't be forced. Every right. day you have to, then that's when you like, it's not a release no more. You're like, I can't do this. You know? And then I start messing up. Well, the flip side is when you're doing things like that, the price needs to be high. Yeah. When it's rushed and it's something you really, you really need to get paid for something that you have to right. work yeah. at to pour out. And that's another so, thing. I mean, I know we got to eat. As yeah. artists, I know we got to eat. And that's why we work for that's the most part. Work, yeah. But at the same time, if you're going to do something that's, you know, right. meant for you to do, Make people pay you want to pay it. A young lady asked me the other day, she said, I wanted to do a small mural. She said, are you expensive? I said, yes. I've done a couple of freebies. I've regretted it. I won't do any more. Yeah. Because people are like, oh, I love that. I'm a Pisces. Whatever. <laughs> I'm like, I'm willing to pay people, like, if you come an hour once a week. Yeah. And sit in on we my talked patio. about that, though. And well, I want to do portraits. And no, you can't keep them. But I'm gonna do them, you know, and then I. Are you serious? Anytime you spend money on canvas like this, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Most care piece. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Okay. That's not done. I don't know what to do next. I'm stuck. Oh, that's, that's a nice piece, piece too. Yeah, that's nice too. I love the background. You see how rich it is? Mm -hmm. Guys like this one, but I bet on. Oh, you don't get nobody want to buy that? Yeah, but they never do. And I was like, 500? 500? Can cool, I get 500? Cool, or eat that up. Yeah. I mean, you can take that. Yeah. Matter of fact, you probably can sell it to him. Tell him it's him. <laughs> I think it's him. And these are, this is oil, right? I think so. That is nice. Rachel, that is, that's how you need to sign your work. Uh, Rachel, fuck it. You know what I mean? Yeah, high seller. That's print. That's right a there. high seller right there. And this came out of your head? No, I bid off something, but I added the wings that I buy. And I just turned them into black people, basically, and I added the waiting part. But I wanted like an embrace. When I was doing this, I was reading this book called, uh, it's called The Origins of Evil, the Book of Enoch. And Enoch mm, was like the first you yeah. know, prophet. And they took mm -hmm. his book right out the Bible. And, like if you look in the, um, if you look at the lineage of Adam, Enoch was the seventh descendant of Adam. He was the first one that went up to heaven and was rolling with the angels, but they never, mm -hmm. they took his book out because his stuff was so incomprehensible. You know, nobody can comprehend what he was talking about. He was talking about cherubs and angels and all this stuff where it almost sounded like aliens. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. That's what I was going to say. But he was talking said. about his Enoch's whole thing. Book, they, supposedly a dude released, re-released that Enoch book. Well, there's two compared there's it to Ethi Yeah, there's an Ethiopian version and then there's a the Slavic version, like which is, so these angels fell and there was, you know, it's called Nephilim, which means the angels fell. It wasn't the one where, it wasn't the particular falling of Satan. It was a different one where angels were ne like, they integrated with women. us. Yeah, because and they, Nephilim was the that's job. why they say women are supposed to cover their hair up because angels liked us because of our right. hair. Oh, okay. So they start sleeping with women, and when they slept with women, they begot giants. Mm -hmm. then, you know, we were talking about that before. Like, we how do we, how do we know? You were talking about yep. how did somebody get fiber optics? Like, where the hell did they learn? That just popped into their head. And mm -hmm. I was reading that book, um, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, uh -huh. and he was saying that we have an infinite source of wisdom that we can tap into if we just chill out, and meditate enough. 
and something will just come to us in a flash, mm-hmm. like, whoa, okay, I, I know how to fly now. I know how to make an airplane. Like, Ain't that shit wild? Yeah, you know. I think when I was reading that book, I was kind of inspired to do that part. 